Yes, my fans. I am a Jamaican living in the UK who still love my Jamaican friends and family very much and have a lot of interest in my Jamaican people. But there is something bothering me at the moment. And I want to say to each and every viewers, if it's your first time on the channel, remember to give the video a thumbs up, a like, share, comments, and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, don't forget to share the video because I want to get some feedback from you, my fans. Because, as I said, I live in the UK, but I have a lot of interest in my Jamaica and I can't wait for the road to finish for me to come back to Jamaica because as soon as that road opened from Kingston to St. Bay and St. Marant Bay to Cedar Valley, I would be on the first flight coming down to drive on that road. So, you know what I'm simply saying here, you know, my interest right now is this pastor that lose his life and I always said there's a lot of Christian to answer a lot of Christian to ask and I personally can't ask a Christian because I don't know who to ask and who to give me the right answer where I want but deep down in my heart I'm pushing this to the Prime Minister and I would really and truly like to see this Prime Minister come on public TV and talk about this because I personally live in the UK and watching different different YouTube channel and see different different things that are taking place regarding this pastor or whatever they call him but my Christian which I bring it down to Christian 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 and answer 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 I'm focusing this one on to the Prime Minister Prime Minister of Jamaica I am asking you and I am appealing to you, my Prime Minister, if you could give me, the Jamaicans, wherever we live around the world, one answer. And I know it's not just me would like to know this. My question is, when somebody arrested what are you charge are you not charged for a crime do you get arrested and placed in handcuff and when you're traveling from one destination to another destination do you transfer in a prison van I remember when I was in Jamaica I was living in a certain area in Kingston I was a working person I was working up cross road at the time in a cheese chips factory and this was my day off the police dropped a curfew in the morning like 4 o'clock in the morning so we wake up in a curfew and can't go anywhere the police knocked my door and I was in my shorts because I just wake up. The police told me if I want to come as I am or I want to get dressed. I get up, get dressed. The police take me out of my house. And by the time I reach up to the top of the road, it was a army truck. And it was about eight men. At that day, about 25 people was packed in that truck that morning. 
and take to Elliston Road Police Station. At that stage, while I was sitting there, a soldier man tell a young man to turn around. And the guy never turned around. And this policeman give this guy one box in his face with his gun. You know, I am so scared that I put my face in that corner and I never turn around until I reach Elliston Road Police when they take me out. I was fingerprint and take to another police station in Bull Bay in a police truck like a prisoner. I spent hours there where I was transferred back. No, lie. I was leave Elliston Road, go to Central Police Station, where I was locked up in a cell in Central. I spent two nights in a Central Police Station. Then I was called out two days later, where I was placed in a prison truck again, with window, drive to Bullbeer Police Station. I wasn't a criminal. I never do anything. Then the same day, I was called out and released from Bullbeer Police Station. And I live in Kingston. I never charged. I asked the police, how am I going to get back to Kingston? I have no money on me. And police arrange a drive from me back to Kingston. No, one simple going here. This man been accused for murder. Are he legally put somebody in a pressure to commit murder or whatever way it happened. But this man was arrested in a, a police station in Montego Bay. He was sitting in a civil chair moving around and giving jokes to me that was jokes no this man was transferring from Montego Bay to Kingston for trial whatever to face justice and to me my Christian Prime Minister when a prisoner is transporting do they travel in a, a prison Vehicle, a police vehicle, or do they travel wherever way they want to travel? My main Christian, my Prime Minister, why was this Prime Minister, this pastor, was traveling through Bagua and not at the motorway, which will be quicker and faster to get this man to Kingston? My next question, Prime Minister, why is the toll, why is the toll not open to emergency vehicle like ambulance, fire, and police? Because I am not educated, but I believe that toll road should be open to fire brigade, to ambulance and police. They, those vehicles shouldn't haul up by toll. So if it's a charge to pay, that should down to the government after they go through to pay that. Yes? Yes, Prime Minister, I live in the UK. But this question, direct to you, Prime Minister, and I would love to see you come on the public television screen and talk about this. Why not the toll? not hoping to emergency you want to tell me if somebody was dying next to the toll from the other side and then i'm going to come over to save that person's life will them have to drive around to avoid the toll 
than to save someone's life. If you out there, you're watching this video and you're hearing the sound of my voice and you agree with what I'm saying, leave your comments. Let me know. Because I want to know if they would let someone die in fire in their car to prevent the fire brigade from get to the person to save their life because if they can't go through at all would they make someone die because the ambulance can't get to them to save their life if a police in an accident over the toll would you let the police die because they can't pay the toll people 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 jamaican citizens Leave your comments. Leave your comments. Let the prime let this video reach the prime minister because I want to know. I live in the UK. I come to Jamaica, and I want to know, plain and straight, if someone was dying behind that toll, if the government would allow them to die because of the police can't pay a toll charge. This man never have to travel through Bagwap to go to Kingsdown, and there's free, quick way to get there. My fans, my subscriber, my viewers, my first time visitors on my channel, leave a comment on this one. Let me know if I'm talking rubbish. If I'm talking rubbish, just type rubbish. Serious. If I'm talking rubbish, just type rubbish. If you watch this video and you don't agree with what I'm saying, type rubbish. Simple. Just type rubbish. If you agree, with what I'm saying, give the video a thumbs up or just plain, plain, give me your opinion. Let me know. Remember to like and share, comment and subscribe to the channel. This is your boy Bunny. This is my views and I would love to know you, the citizen views, because I'm living in the UK and this is what? Catch me. So, I'm out. Peace and love. Catch you in the next video. And wait until you hear your feedback. Your boy, I'm out. Bless up, bless up, bless up.